Hello, Papa. Happy Father's Day. Papa the King. Hello, Charlie. One on a go see and welcome to yet another episode of Show Bees. Hi, my name is Sodisi Benitango and today uh, we have a very special guest, my boo thing, my hubby, the love of my life. Would you like to introduce yourself, sir? Good, how do you want to say? This is great. And so then you tell us your name. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm Kumoto, like she said. I'm her boo thing. Okay. And what? 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 Chloe's? What? Hi. Yeah, welcome on oh, Toby's High. Welcome on Toby's High. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So me and my man today are doing a Father's Day special. So we're gonna be discussing all things fatherhood. So you know that we have a mommy's segment. So I thought it only fair to include the other parent as well. So that is why I have him here today. Um, but before we go any further, he will be sharing um, a verse, the word of the day today with us. And yeah, you go ahead then. Uh, oh yes. So, the verse of the day, uh, we find it uh, at First Timothy 5. It says, for there is one God and... Wait, 1 Timothy 2. Chapter 2, verse 5. Oh, eight. chapter 2, verse 5. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it reads as follows. For there is one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity, the man Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well then, why did you choose that verse? Because, I mean, in, in this world we live in, like, there's a lot of uh, misconceptions of people believing in certain things, different gods and all that sort of stuff. But now this verse just comes back to actually just confirm that there's just only one God and how you get through to God is through the Son Jesus Christ. And that's it. And that's on period. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so we are going to get straight into um, the questions because the mister is a bit shy. So no. I don't wanna <laughs> so I don't wanna keep him I don't wanna keep him on here for too long. So yeah, we'll get into the questions. So first of all, um, what is your favorite thing about being a father? Favorite thing? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The one thing that actually comes to mind is being someone's superhero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like someone like who actually really like depend on you like mm -hmm. with everything. Like for they know that for sure if I ask my dad for this, it sure will be possible. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for some being someone's superhero. Yeah, for someone to look at you in yeah. that light. Yeah. 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 Right, um, and how do you think your life has changed? How do you think uh, being a father has changed um, your life? It has changed quite drastically because I don't have the selfish thoughts anymore. Like, I always have to always think of someone else, you know? Like, for me, if I have like a hundred rand in my pocket, I know, like, I, I cannot just spend that whole hundred grand on me. I know someone deserves like twenty bucks from that hundred bucks. So it's just a thing of, like, for instance, what can I? How can I put? Okay, how can I put it? Like, it's different now. How I live my life, being a father than I was when I was a bachelor. Mm -hmm. Okay, bachelor. Is it a bachelor? Yeah. yeah and a single or a, yeah. And do you think that's a good or a bad thing? It is. It's a good thing because because you have like a purpose. Mm -hmm. Like you live uh, your life knowing that there's someone that is looking up to you. Mm -hmm. And obviously now it's a thing of. Uh, and I'm gonna just repeat the word selfishness. Like you don't you don't just look to just live your life 
like recklessly so because now like there is someone that is look uh, looking upon your teachings yeah like your guidance like i'm saying like a superhero mm -hmm. like a life superhero like that's how i see myself now like as someone who's superhero someone to whenever they are going through something they know okay if i talk to my dad like something can come up something can be resolved you know mm -hmm. yeah it's very good and how do you think um what role do you think your father has played in the kind of father that you are like he's 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 been a very important part of my life because I've, I've actually spent so much time with him lived with him for like a couple of years just being me and him mm -hmm. and his teachings are what is guiding me as a father right now like how for instance something as simple as respect mm -hmm. something as simple as cleaning after yourself you know it's 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 not a thing uh it's not usual when you find a man like teaching such things like your cleaning cleanliness mm -hmm. like your respect like we we expect that from mothers but like i lived with my dad for quite a long time mm -hmm. like just me being with him and then the teachings like they actually come back to me now as mm -hmm. i look at my yeah. son and i'm like hey boy hey like even even now he's lucky that like he still has my father as his grandfather because mm -hmm. uh, that teaching is still there like from him mm -hmm. like so to me and going to my son like it's, it's 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 mostly the teachings that i think my 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 dad uh taught me and just the the humbleness of it mm -hmm. yeah so it's it's something that really uh shapes me as a father right? today mm -hmm. yeah and what is the one thing that you want your son to always know or always yeah like that one thing that when kumo is older he can always say you know what when it comes to my dad this is what i've learned or this is what he's left me with maybe probably one day maybe when you're no longer there um what is that one thing that you would like to leave him with uh okay the one thing that i practice with my son is giving like i always make sure that like have what you have like you i always give enough to him but him having that thought of having to share with someone else mm -hmm. you know because like we have an abundance but sometimes we you are very wasteful of what we have mm -hmm. So for me even you know that I, I I love kids and I gave away two kids. So it's something that I always would like for him to take with him to actually share whatever it is that he has. And I think he is getting it because he was when when he was younger and I, I was concerned about him sharing but now he's is really big on on sharing like he will be having a snack and he'll give you his last piece and i feel True. like <laughs> and i feel like that like his his ways of sharing is becoming like more and more yeah he's getting better was, yeah he's getting better with sharing and then the last question uh what is the one thing that what what advice would you give to someone who is who wants to be a father or someone who is about to be a father okay the one thing the, the most important thing is make time like make time and listen mm -hmm. like you know we are very quick to not listen to kids because we think we know better yeah. but there's a lot one can learn from an innocent soul like a kid mm -hmm. you know so make time and listen yeah 
It's really good. I love it. Thank you so much, Mr. Lidwala. Yeah. <laughs> you did well. I did well. <laughs> you did well. I did well. Okay. Yeah. Well, then. Next, that... we're kicking in, but I, I'm glad I did well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that is it from Mr. Lidwala and myself. I hope that you enjoyed this one, and I hope that we'll have you again, Mr. Lidwala. How much have we been? <laughs> Whoa, wow, okay. Because I'm gonna okay. be big. Okay, you're gonna blow up. I'm gonna blow up. <laughs> and then, so, I mean, I'm gonna be a very blown up super uh, hero, you know? Okay. A super dad. Like, okay. Like my son calls me. So, like, how much have we been? We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. So guys, get those subscriptions in. Subscribe, like, and share so that we can start getting in some ching ching because Mr. Ledwaba wants to get paid. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you on the next one. Remember to spread love, light, and positivity. Positivity! I love you. We love you. <laughs>